besties it's Anna and today I am so excited to um, show you guys how I develop my characters and the perfect um, character developing um, template that you guys need to get on you guys probably know that my favorite thing about writing is basically the characters I think characters are just so important and integral to any sort of story and though this video is about like how to make the perfect character it's not perfect as in the sense of them being this hero who who's fully flawless and, you know, loved by everyone. No, it's actually the perfect character as in someone who has flaws, who has phobias, who has weaknesses and who is relatable to a lot of different peoples and especially to your readers. What I'm going to be going through today is really simple, really easy and it's just such a great way to start off with planning your characters. Please subscribe to my channel because it does help so so much and also I did just launch a podcast called Writing with Anna New where I talk about everything writing and I really just give you some great tips and I just like I think it's like really relatable for any sort of writer so it's available on Spotify now so if you want to go ahead and listen to some episodes definitely do I'll have it linked in the iCard but anyways let's get on to actually making our characters okay so I'll have this on the screen so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing and what the template looks like of course, I'll have this template linked down below so you guys can go ahead and actually download it and work through your own characters. Um, if you wanted to maybe do that right now and just like click the link in the description so we can work through it together because in this video, of course, I'm going to actually be planning one of my characters, one of my original characters with you guys. So that'll be so fun if you guys, you know, are welcome to do that. But to start off with, I wanted to just do an overview of what this template looks like and also an example of one of my characters called the Amen. I love Eamon so so much, I'm sorry, I love this character so much and it was just so fun making this template for him so let's go ahead and look at the overview. So if we kind of look at the top we of course have his name. I also recommend you to come up here and also title your file where your character's name is if you are going to make um, multiple um, documents like this for multiple characters. If we go down here we have profile bio and this is kind of like um the really basic essential stuff that makes your characters like essentially human if you know what i mean um so of course that includes like their name their nicknames their age and like their build and stuff like that which just kind of gives you an idea of what sort of person or what sort of character you're talking about and if we move on to the right we have the profile image and here is what Eamon looks like um, I actually use Artbreeder for developing my profile images for all of my characters and I do have a really in-depth tutorial of how to make your own OCs through this website and I'll have it linked up there if you guys want to go ahead and check out that tutorial after this video um, but it just really helps and it's so so fun to do I literally love making my characters so if we scroll down we have our profile characteristics and this is kind of like little things that really like make your character a character um, and these are very very important so this is kind of like personality life motto strengths weaknesses quirks of course you can be as detailed as you want in this sort of section but I really recommend you to try to keep it to like one line or at least like two lines because when you are referencing back to this document and your actual character profile um, you don't want to be like really overwhelmed with a lot of you know details and characteristics and I'm sure like as you write your story you know your character pretty well so I really enjoy this template and this sort of way of planning because it doesn't overwhelm me and make me like want to try to include everything and it's kind of just an overview of the character so I can just go back and draw ideas from it. So this can include Eamon's personality. So he's quiet and he gets flustered easily, he works diligently and he's used to being alone. These are like a few different things but I've kind of really um, shortened it and kind of baked it down to these really simple ideas. Of course he's like so much more complicated than that but I think it's just really really helpful just to relax and just like what really encapsulates your characters and that's why I think it's very good to think very hard about the main things you want this character to represent. Um, and down below we have the question and this question is so important but it is what is the story you want to tell with this character? I think it's really important because when you are writing characters, when you are including them in a story, they need to have an impact in some sort of way. So I kind of um, really wanted Eamon to be like the embodiment of 
helplessness, which is really interesting because Eamon as a character, he he feels like he is like on top of things and he is doing okay, like he's above water, when in reality, he kind of realizes throughout the story that he is literally hopeless. And I kind of make the analogy of like, he's a drowning child who never learnt what water was, so he hasn't learned how to swim, but in the first place, he never knew that water can make you drown. And it's kind of like a bit abstract, but I really like to kind of be poetic whenever I'm kind of dealing with my characters. So yeah, it's kind of really getting to the bottom of what your character embodies and what your character represents in your book and what impact they have on the plot. Because I say this so many times and that is the plot doesn't happen to the character, but the character happens to the plot. If we go down here, this is probably the most important part right here and this is the backstory, present story, end story. This was just the most simplest way I can really just have a real clear overview of what happens in this character's life. Of course, I want to stress so much that your character needs to change in your book. There is no point if your character just stays the same. Of course, if they're a side character, this might be less important, but especially if you're working through main characters, ensure that you have backstory, present story, and your end story. So here the backstory is just a really um, quick overview of how Eamon grew up. The present story is more kind of what happens when the story begins and when I start writing. The end story is what happens at the end of the book, so how we change it. And I think it's good just to have like context of his backstory and what kind of leads up to the present story, which my book actually begins. And of course end story is so, so important because you need to know what the character has like been through, you need to know like where you want the character to be, what they want to, what you want them to learn and just like become and you can always also have another table um, which is kind of like future story. I thought about including this in the document but I just thought it was a bit too much and I feel like it's it's up to your really interpretation and I don't think it's completely relevant to think about when you are writing your book. So yeah that's kind of just like an overview of my favorite character Eamon Lowe and yeah so let's go ahead and actually make a character now. Okay, so of course we're going to be working through a character um, that I'm actually trying to develop at the moment for one of my projects. And of course, feel free to maybe do this with me um, as I kind of go through making my character. So the first thing I'm going to do is of course name this um, file and I think I'm going to do a character which is in one of my books which is called Project GA and um, her name is actually Yvette. So I'm just going to say Yvette template or you can say Yvette profile, it really doesn't matter. And of course over here we're going to be um, inserting her name and her last name's actually white so it's like dope white and i think it's really cool um anyways that's that now if we move on to your profile bio um her full name of course Yvette the white her nicknames i think um i really love coming up with nicknames it's just so so fun and also like you can note what characters actually call um, your character nicknames. Um, I think one of the characters, um, which is called, I'm trying to think, I've like forgotten. His name is Oliver, I think. Yeah, Oliver. So I'll say Ev, and then also Oliver is who calls her that. Um, she also has normal nicknames like Eve, but she's usually just called Yvette. Okay, so her age, I think she is 19 or 18 or 17. And this is of course a good thing to actually get straight answers because yeah, I know like how old she is, like 17 to 19, but I think it's really good just to have like a straight black and white answer. And this is what this template provides. So I'm gonna say 18 in the middle. Let's go 18. Okay, so your character's build is essentially like what they look like, like they're kind of like, are they very slim? Are they a bit more like, um, curvy and stuff like that so I think she is kind of slim but also a bit curvy however she is flat chested like me okay if we go down to appearance again this is stuff you just really like when you look at your character you think of this if you know what I mean so very very simple so I think the first thing I think about when I think of a vet I think of freckles I think of like a really short face a short bob with a fringe and also glasses. Usually it has to do with their face. Um, you can maybe note on their clothing or 
um, kind of the way that they stand. There really is no like right or wrong way to list how your character looks, but yeah, that's kind of what Yvette looks like to me. Her sexuality, of course, I think she is straight. And then if we look at profile image, um, of course, this is the image you have made. It could be like a drawing you drew of your character or of course on Art Breeder. I actually have an image of her which I'm going to be using. And all you got to do is copy that and paste it and kind of just move it down there. So there we have Eve or Yvette. Okay, so let's scroll down to profile characteristics. So I think Yvette is actually extremely quiet. Um, usually when I make characters, they're very unsimilar to me, which is really, really interesting. But I think Yvette is someone who I can at least a little bit relate to. So I think Eve, she's very, um, she's very quiet, like me. However, like, I feel she has a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions and thoughts, and she seems to, like, suppress it. So I think, like, yeah, she suppresses all these feelings and sometimes she just bursts and like says everything that she wants to she is also extremely um inquisitive and curious and people i think she really does like looking at people okay her life motto so i think um this is where i like to really include some things that she says and just like little quirks that she kind of like dialogue in that sort of sense so she definitely always says oh dearie which is really really funny and i just love um the way that she says she's like oh dearie and it's so so cute um however she also has a very like i think like throughout the story she kind of always wants to give people a second chance so i think one of her life mottos is also everyone deserves a second chance and this is extremely important when the start of the book happens and also the end of the book so it's very symbolic i feel like and it's just something like a part of her so she very likes the idea of mercy all right so um her strengths so this is kind of of course what your character is good at what they kind of do without any effort really and i think she actually like is very good at learning things very quickly however like as she kind of progresses she forgets very easily so she's a very quick learner and i think she's also very witty but like unintentionally so she, she makes um like very witty remarks that kind of she goes like oh my gosh i just said that you know what i mean and it's so so funny um okay so weaknesses this is stuff that she really has trouble with um with your character like just kind of a, the downfall and stuff that they really like just yeah struggle with i guess so i think again she has a lot of trouble um expressing her emotions um and like things that are really going deep down in her heart and she also actually apologizes a lot and she always feels like she's doing something wrong or she's not you know doing all the right things and that she's at fault so she's almost like a people pleaser if that makes sense her quirks okay this is like my favorite thing to do with your character's quirks so quirks are kind of things that just like it's funny i feel like it's just like something it could be good it could be bad for example eve she is extremely bad at lying and it's so obvious so she literally can't lie and uh, quirks can be like also action so of course i mentioned she likes to hold and like um have her journal always with her and i think she also daydreams a lot which is really funny and she's almost like very um aloof i think there's lots of times where she stresses a lot but then like as soon as she gets to a point where she stresses too much she just like gets into her own world and just like daydreams in the most random situations and it's hilarious and it's really good because like right now i'm kind of thinking about you know my character and like just the things that she does and like who she is as a character so that's why i love making character um profiles and like templates because it just helps so much with um actually developing your character further and thinking about who they actually are Okay, so the question here is, what is the story you want to tell with this character? So I'm going to go ahead and type that up and see kind of like, really just think about it. Okay, so 
when you are thinking about it again just think about what impact they're having on the plot on other characters on the world and what they really mean and what they symbolize in your book okay so i kind of decided that i want this story to be kind of like the story of belonging and she kind of expresses the idea of hope and you know even though she is struggling with a lot of things she definitely does have some sense and some faith in people and that kind of comes from the idea of her loving mercy and wanting other people to have a second chance okay if we go down here we have backstory um so of course you're just gonna have to fill this out really think about where your character have has been how they grew up the sorts of things they've struggled with um and really just try to be very simple with it and just kind of say it in very short sentences so you really have an idea and a clear picture to how they kind of come to the to the story that you're writing now and also of course with the end story where they actually finish your book so i'm gonna go ahead and fill this out again this is kind of hard to do with you guys um unless you know i knew your characters but of course make sure you do it pause the video and do it now if you guys are going along with me but i'm gonna go ahead and see sort of what my character how my character has come to the story and where they end up Okay, so I really did this in very like short chunks. I did like around one or two little points for each um, present story, backstory, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I kind of decided that Yvette, yes, yeah, so when she does come to the book, she's been very like, she's had like a very protected life. In the present story, so when the book actually begins, she actually becomes to resent her mother for that and for just keeping secrets from her essentially. And then as the story progresses, she understands her mother and maybe learns to also forgive her mother for um, what she's done. I think like at the end of the story, she kind of realizes that family is important. She's never really learned a lot about her family until she's kind of gone through this journey and she's realized how important family is. But um, yeah, that's kind of my um, character, Yvette. I hope you enjoyed kind of going through that with me. It was so, so fun and I'm just so glad that I was able to make my awesome character, Yvette. Of course, I think it's so important, again, just to take your time with this. If you do need more character inspiration and if you maybe wanted a video where I kind of talk about how I get inspired by characters and how I come up with all these really cool, like, um, ideas. I would really love to do that if you are interested. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day and as always, keep writing. Bye guys! <laughs>